We're all heading down to snooze and there we're square. Michael got a smoothie. Are you happier now? <laughs> he needs food. <laughs> this is my tour guide for the day. Hi, my name's Shannon. <laughs> welcome, to Denver. <laughs> welcome, welcome to Denver, Colorado. Hello, adventurous friends and travelers, and welcome to another Bragworthy Adventures video. I'm your host, Rose, and today we're talking about Denver. We were visiting family out there, and I decided, since it was going to be a lot of family time, that I would choose one day and make that my Denver day and do all the things I want to do in Denver. So when we were there, we kind of started our day in Denver um, by trying to go to Snooze. Now Snooze is this nice cafe. There are a couple locations, but I wanted to go to the one right in Union Station, which probably is the most popular one. And on a Sunday morning, everybody wants to do brunch, right? So it was quite a wait. And it usually is a wait. You actually can't do reservations beforehand. So if you want to go to Snooze, be prepared to Put your name in and then do some things and the nice part is I, I spoke to them I told them I wanted to go to some other areas around they'll text you and as long as you let them know you're on your way when they text you that your tables ready they won't give your table away so um, you have the opportunity to have your name in for snooze and be looking around the city without wasting time you don't have to sit there next to the restaurant with a buzzer and wait for it to go off you know the money museum is closed on sundays when i was in school in elementary school we did a field trip to i don't know if it's the money museum or the denver mint um that's here but they picked three kids to hold a, like large amounts of money and i got to hold like bundled together like eighty thousand dollars huge stack of money and he it stole crazy. it and that was our um that was the start of our home no but i was thinking about it <laughs> i was thinking what can all you know what kind of candy i can buy because you know i was like fourth grade <laughs> awesome we walked by the money museum and had it not been a sunday if this had been a weekday i definitely would have gone there were a couple of things i wanted to do but because the day i i got to use for my denver day ended up being sunday I was a little limited on the things that I could do, but the Money Museum is a cool place. Michael had a really cool childhood experience there, which he tells you about. We also got to enjoy a lot of the outdoor activities. So like apparently this whole thing back there is like 16th Street Mall, but the actual mall part is like further that way. But we'll go there when we're heading towards the Capitol building. Right now we're heading to Snooze to get some food. We've got like these cute little fountains where the kids are playing and then Union Station is right behind it. Can't wait to eat. Okay. Going into the station. So it's still like actually a station? Yeah, Oh, like it's got a bunch of buses and stuff. It's not like trains. Yeah. And lots of food. Look how fancy this like station is. Yeah. A lot of people they, they take the buses here. But even the train, I think it goes to the airport. Yeah, you can take the train to the airport for nine dollars. Nine dollars. Nine dollars. You can actually do that. She could do that. Yeah, you could do that. Actually you could do it. Anyone could do it. So this is this is Larimer's like street where they've got like it's just a walking street and they've got all the pretty lights. Oh, that's good. At night, it's all like lit up and stuff. There's different what trinkets? What? Oh my gosh! That's what's splashing down here. This is beautiful. <laughs> Look at this. I like this kind of art. It's like all geometric and stuff. And like got some gorgeous colors. My turn. Not so close. You're broken. Look, it even lights up. You are entering into a dream. <laughs> Another one.
करते हैं Jenny, go. <laughs> I have every other one that we did. Yeah. They were playing like this place is like milk market has these games. Which is perfect because we're still waiting to eat at Snooze. So we played Connect Four and now we're playing Giant Jenga. Square. Now, I didn't know at the time, but I've done some research since then. Larimer Square is named after General Larimer, who was the first person to build a residence in Denver. And he used coffins to make the doors for his residence, but it's kind of like the start of Denver. Maybe in my mind, I'm thinking of it as like the heart. And it was so much fun. It's beautiful. I can't imagine what it looks like at night. It probably is breathtaking. And it seems it was just the perfect place to hang out while we waited for snooze. We had so much fun. Okay, we're finally going to have a snooze. Yummy. Good. Ah. <laughs> Popeye. We also got to walk around 16th Street Mall. Now, 16th Street Mall is also called the spine of the city. It's got these amazing free shuttles you can take so that you can get down the street of 16th Street Mall. It's some window shopping and it was a, uh, it was fun to go around and they have like multiple stories in their mall and it's nice and outside, so. This is the mall part of the 16th Street Mall. So you've got Explore, all sorts of like shops. It's a really cute little place. I saw some like ice cream shops and everything too, so. That's the mall part, but there's a whole street that's called the 16th Street Mall, so I mean, you decide what you think is the real, like, mall. Like, this is the shops. It's a shopping mall. But then 16th Street Mall is also a street that goes down for a while. Both are pretty cool. We also headed over to the Capitol Building. And at the Capitol Building, they have a step where it marks where you are exactly one mile high from sea level. And if you didn't know, Denver's nickname is the Mile High City. So I have got to see the spot. Normally you can do free tours in there, but it's Sunday, so no free tours. We're just here for the photo. We're going to find the Mile High marker. Where is it? There it is. I found it. Wait, already? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's easy. Go get it. You're mile high, babe. We ended our day in the River North District, or Rhino District, uh, which is really cute because they even have like rhinos on bicycles on the bicycle lane, that's how they mark it. But we went there to go check out some street art. Walmart. What's your inspiration? Underwater galactic sea love. open galleries so like all the art galleries in town and all the different art districts are for free oh look at this whoa oh.
rented scooters. And so we went around up and down the streets. It was Larimer Street and we went up and down on our scooters. We got to see some amazing malls and we had just a lot of fun zooming around. And that was our day in Denver. So it was really fun. I know there's more to do. I know they've got um, other museums. They've got a candy shop where you can go and do free tours to see uh, them make candy. They have like tours of the art if you want someone to guide you around. I would have gone into the Money Museum and into the Capitol had it not been Sunday. So I wanted to share my plans with you, share my day. I still had a great time, but if you want to go, maybe don't go on a Sunday and you are welcome to use my spreadsheet and my ideas and my plan and have a great day in Denver. Since you already know I'm a travel planner, you might not know, but this whole uh, YouTube channel is about me planning my trip, which will be probably in a year and a half, maybe a little more, um, just because my husband's going to nursing school. But I am going to be going um, kind of like all around the world, kind of around there. Um, and I am preparing for it by doing some reading. So if you want to join me on my um, reading journey, or if you also want to travel to Southeast Asia and you want to read this and then follow along, I'll be posting some videos soon about Cambodia, Laos, Thailand, and Singapore, which are four places I want to go in Southeast Asia. Um, and I'm reading this to help guide me a little bit. So you are welcome to join me in my little Destination Details book club. Um, and pick up one of these and start reading it. And then I will be sharing kind of like a, a one or two pager of what my menu is. That's what we'll call it. Um, but we'll get more into those details later just for a thought. You might want to pick this up and read it with me. Also, I don't always say this, but I'm trying to say it more. If you like travel videos, if you like seeing where I go, if you want to go places and you want my travel planning skill to help you. Maybe I've been there, maybe I haven't. You're welcome to subscribe to these videos and follow me on Instagram and as always, reach out. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear where you want me to go or if you need help me, if you need help planning a trip, I'd love to help you out. So feel free to subscribe. If you liked this video, you can hit like. That's what they always say, right? Um, and comment below what are your favorite things to do in Denver if you've been or what things you want to do in Denver that you saw me do in this video. As always, thanks for watching. Bye, travelers. Mm -hmm.